864 square metres. Write that down so we don't forget that. Yeah, I've just worked out how many shows I've got to put up. <laughs> Diplomats Field has three, ho uh, three horses, so he's going to need two shelters. They have one. Um, Dallas has failed, they will need three shelters and only have one at the moment. But these are big shelters. 18 square metres they are. Lucero's failed, they have three, but I, I have to put up another seven in their field. <laughs> the donkeys have one and they need ten. And they, you have to have 11 square metres per horse and six per pony or donkey. So you've got your plan yeah. and there's what, 48 shelters? There's another 48 shelters to build. Which totals, what actually have you got to build in square metres? 864 square metres. Of shelter? More. In More this, in this field. In that field. Wow. That's a lot of shelters. That's a lot of shelters and that's going to cost a lot of money to do it. Yeah. But I, where, where do I start? That is the problem. I can't make my mind up where to start. <laughs> wow. Maybe close your eyes and stick a pin? Yeah, maybe. Anyway, that's how it is. <laughs> what shelter is this? How many have you done now, Rod? Um, this is the fourth one. And uh, but right now I'm trying to straight up some straightening up some twisted wood. Oh dear. So I put the sheets on. Righty ho, so there we go, shelter number four on its way. Well Rod, it's now five o'clock at night. How much longer are you gonna be? <laughs> I'm nearly asleep up here now, so not long. I've just got a few more screws to secure it and I'll finish it off tomorrow. That's looking lovely, Rod. Absolutely brilliant. Well, here we have Rod creating yet another shelter. That's going to be like that one. Okay. But what were you doing with the string? You're lining them up? Yeah, I just put on a line through so I've got a, a guide to just keep the posts all as they should be. Bronte is assisting. Yeah, Bronte's helping now. That's not a good idea, is it, Bronte? Huh? Well, he might be 73, but he's still going at it, and I think he's doing amazingly well. It's quite incredible, really, Rod, what you are achieving here. It looks absolutely fantastic. And now... Rod is now on to shelter number five. And today Rod has our little superhero here, Tom, assisting him. Tom has been an absolutely amazing help. He's really pushed Rod forward and given him the help that he needed to get this tasks done. So there we are, Rod. What have you got to say about shelter number five? Well, um, I decided to do Lissero's field um, because there's a lot of animals in here and they need it. Then I'll go back to that one. Um, yeah, I've got enough materials for this one and that one. So that's why I'm doing them. So you'll be able to do shelter five and shelter six. Yeah. And then you're going to have to need more stuff. More stuff. Mm. So you were saying last night that you think with, with with the weather and everything on your side, you could get the whole thing completed by February. End of February, I could, providing um, that don't rain too much, yeah. And you've got the materials. And I can get the materials, obviously. And of course, Tom keeps coming three days a week. <laughs> he's got no choice. Oh, he's got no choice. <laughs> well, here we are at Easy Horse Care Rescue Centre. Shelter number six is nearly up. Isn't this incredible? It's really, really now starting to come together. Everything looks incredible. All these new, huge shelters. Absolutely amazing. I just cannot tell you how excited and happy we are with how quickly now we're actually managing to get the work done. When we've completed all of the shelters, there's quite a few more to do. We will then be able to get our farm license. 
but we're certainly getting closer to it day by day. Huge, huge thank you for Tom, who's been an absolute superstar and helped Rod beaver along and, and get, it, get, it, get it all going as quickly as it is. And we really, really are getting very, very excited here at Easy Horse Care Rescue Centre because we can really now see that we're gonna be able to get this farm license, hopefully in the very early part of next year.